welcome to another Rangaroo cast with me, Rangaroo. Today we are doing a 4v4 on a more. Yeah, this is more on NATO side. We have a Stuck 41, Von Lock, Brosif, Stalin, and Von Blucher. On the pack side, we have Antagonist, Act Mad Cat, or call him Mad Cat, Kenyon, and Captain. Speed things up and get things going. Also is a conquest. Now I haven't really done too many matches on Mora. Or many casts on Mora. It's a very interesting map. There's four points in the middle. Like the eastern side of city, south, west, and all these parts of the cities are a catch point. There's two on each flank as well. Also there's reinforcement side here and here for both sides. So it's a very much a mirror map. And very identical, but there's a lot of area. There's a lot of different places to fight. You have open fields over here. A lot of CQC. Very intense CQC fighting here. And some towns here for garrison. Hurry up. Everything going in. Placing down the markers. I like it. Many packs, yo. NATO not doing that. And away we go. Oh. Off the bat, we have two MiG-30 runs from Captain, MiG-25s and Yak-38 is going to be Napalm in the bridges, F-14 and Tornado trying to shoot them down, but the Yak did manage to drop the Napalm, so these guys are going to get stunned. And we do have a lot of them heading into the town from both sides. Act bringing up a lot of infantry up here into Alpha, we do have a bit of helicopter rush into the lumber mill. They can land, they can definitely give Kinion a bit of trouble. Over here, NATO securing Mike with ease, but Lima is being slightly contested. There is AA are moving up a little bit too much in the open. Risking him to idle an F run fire. Yep, these guys are going to get destroyed over here in the town. A lot of marines from Stug 40 run. So we're playing a USMC deck. Also, there's LAVs and OTBs, which are very good for supporting the infantry in this sort of scenario. And you have VDVs and Spets and certain line of Spets. Now, there will be a bit of a difficulty to deal with as you have napalm launchers up here. Seems like Pact not doing too well. Quite a few British tanks here. Really cause some trouble. Fusilier's holding out. And. Bonlock holding on to what he has. That link's been very useful. We need a 20mm cannon to get a fight. It has two 20mm. Makes it even better. And probably gonna knock out the infantry in here. Make 21 flying right over, getting shot down. Marines managed to move up the eastern side of the city. Spetton is going down. You have Yak 38 dropping some napalm on Marines out in the open. They're going to be feeling the heat. Seems like NATO is moving up slightly in Lima. The most strictly are knocking out TPC Fuchs around um, forward scouts, and it seems. They're going to try and get into November. There's so many points here, you usually don't see a November named point. There's so many capture points on the map. Oh, so many. 135 Pragas going to be getting a bit of damage. Make three runs, dropping clusters, but missing the dots entirely. Are they going to spot the PV? No, it does not seem so. They're going to knock out those reserves and be holding out in the forest. Marines making some very good progress now, getting all the way into the eastern side. They can hold this, they can stop the resupply lines from here. Also, holding the northern side of town with Delta. So, NATO is at the advantage at the moment. F 14 Tomcat flying a bit too close over Pat AA, getting shot down. Don't know why he's flying it yet close. We really want to get a MiG 30 run. 
DV is still holding out in Fox Shot Yellow Fees. Are they gonna spot it? All VDVs being brought up. Yep, they're gonna do. Oh, yeah, LAV does manage to knock out CVO. Gonna be shooting that long range that the pack force is coming down. Just range holding out against the VDVs from Warriors over here as well. Doing a bit of damage. The good idea for NATO to start bringing up some cat points to count Delta. Not gaining the point chain, need to win. A lot of harriers being brought up as well as a Corsair. One harrier in lots of Corsairs being brought up. Doing a bombing run there, knocking out a few units. As well as Napalm in the Ross Marines. In that little town. Marines holding out. That's the elited Marines. I think they're a veteran. They've been killing, kicking so much ass and our elite. And that's gonna systematically destroy his VDVs, good god. They have a Burantino being drawn out. Firing in that's a few named Botic. Can't say. Basically, Napalm rounds into the Marines, forcing them to f retreat out of that sector. Mortars being dropped on the VDVs in a bit of damage. I believe it was a, yeah, LAV mortars. Doing a very good job just pushing up into Foxtrot. I'm quite impressed. Over here, how the hell did this happen? Seems like Rock, they just managed to move all the way down this road. Warriors right next to the FOBs. You have an MI 38 yo. It causes them to fall back into the forest. Uh, this is not looking all entirely good for Pact at the moment. Over here, NATO trying to move up into Bravo. Kine on, holding on with all these officers. Mutskuchin and Commando Ukvalekula. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's a very, very weird name. Deva von... Probably Reserve Infantry. I'm going to guess this is Reserve Infantry. No, oh, yeah, Reserve Infantry. Being brought up from Vaughn, taking the brunt of the force. Lavies moving up. Is that my 28 is going to get a few shots off. A BMP TAO, which is going to do quite a bit of damage. They the LAV. Out of ammo. Never a good sign. <laughs> now he's going to try to shoot his own FOB now. <laughs> I think they're doing that automatically. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, he's just sucking up all the supplies. Denying his enemy resources. This FOB just doesn't want to die. It really wouldn't be a good idea to kill it. I want to knock out the warriors, but I believe they automatically shoot enemy unit and an FOB is an enemy unit. They are going to shoot it. Very good progress being moved up here, but I believe packed through reading their AA a little bit. Moving up some uh, Mautuka, ATGMs. Going off the NATO forces out in the open. It could actually do quite a bit of damage, there is no ATGMs from NATO. This Water 1A1 is out of ammo. The Leopard's fallen back, probably spotted a Mautuka. Josh is evacuating out, MiG-25 gonna intercept that Harrier. Uh, not managing to kill it though. So it did manage to drop its bombs, doing killing the mortars down there. I believe, yeah, killing the known mortars out down there. That will be quite costly. NATO starting to make some progress into November. They're being very aggressive this match, taking lots and lots and lots of ground, not stopping for anything. E-34 is also being moved up, greatest tank ever. They are getting destroyed by the Mortal Run A3. Albatross coming over, it's going to be dropping its bomb payload on the Panzer Grenadiers, knocking them out. 
Let's have Leopard run A3 from Brosif Stalin. Yep. Taking a few shots off here, and yeah, we have a MiG-31 just flying over, keep nice clear. Pacta very much cornered at the moment, only really holding on to four sectors. NATO can just keep capturing these more sectors, they, they will really have an advantage. I mean, they could get it up to like, plus six. That would basically be a good game, because plus six, you're running like a few minutes. Your helicopters being out, brought up from Von Blucher, Dorniers, basically just a hero of an MG3 instead of a 50 cal machine gun. Yeah, I couldn't really make too much progress into Bravo. There's a lot of open fields they have to get through. There's some AT gems here stopping them, and infantry in here is a Motskuten. Motskuten are quite good, and they can hold out rail just by themselves. That's why you probably haven't been able to move up into Bravo. T-80 moving up. Okay, it was moving the speed of things. Up with a runny freeze. It's right up in there. Be knocking out T-3045s. Can they do that? Oh, that's eager. The Fagatori's in a bit of damage. Leopards don't have much armor, they're gonna get knocked out, it seems. Mortars being fired on top of them. They do go down. Mortars firing. Jassy doing a lot of damage to the FOB, I might actually kill it. There isn't too many supplies in the left, so it won't be all that much of a loss. Air 50 being brought up. Can't spot those rangers, so they can't shoot them. Yeah, <laughs> very close to each other, as you can see. <laughs> B64A is holding on. Easy Keela moving up. Using the shoulder cannon to great effect. Albatross gonna be dropping some bombs. Humans run knock out those mortars, but they have moved. Managing to skim run just a little bit. But they are going to be fine overall. Madcap does foreign barrage of barrage with 82 millimeter mortars. Stunning in the NATO. Brosis Stalin's forces trying to move up. NATO at a plus five advantage. Over the half the points they need to win. Yeah. And Pact are just holding on to what they got. I think NATO might actually win this match unless Pact can counter attack out and speed this up a little bit. Because all it is is a few skirmishes. There's not really any pusses going on. You have a lot of reserve infantry just suiciding themselves right in there. They're gonna get into the forest. Oh, but the mortars are gonna just. Ouch. That mortars completely destroying them. I hurt some just into the point I need to win. Big Trunny runs, flying over, gonna be dropping in. Going at Leopard run a f one at 2A4, that's Leopard 2A4. Need to 80%. They're not making any progress in terms of points. Mortar in the mortars, make Freddy Ron's gonna intercept a bunch of alpha jets, so he's gonna be flying over. And those mortars are buggered, except for the one which does live. And Jihad, it seems, is going to be a good game. I said a little bit too early, actually. 
and and it's a good game. NATO did a very good job, yeah, Matt, keeping up the press. So they just moved right up in there, giving Pact no time to breathe. Even when they're just holding on to their points, they kept poking at the Pact forces, making sure they had to keep resupplying and buying new forces, which they'd pick off run by run. So a very good match, yeah, I have to say. And around them. Um, been Rangaroo Cars. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Take it easy.